everybody welcome to run excel tutorial today i am going to show how to schedule or run the task cut background by using cron job let me see how to use this cron tab command the first command i am going to use cron tab funnel this command is used to list or check the previously cron job will be available or not so after enter this command hit enter here there is no cron tab created for this root user so i am going to create the cron job for this root user let me see how to do this same using cron tab with option e now hit enter e for editing so the cron job page will be open now here you can schedule the job or task at what time or what day you want to run that particular task that I am going to show one syntax here. So this is the syntax. Here first five icons will be presented here. And also finally you have to execute the command. I am going to explain this. What are these options? The first star option is nothing but minutes. Second one is hour. And third one is month or date of month. And fourth one is month, current month of the year and the fifth one is day of the week finally you have to schedule that job or task what you want to execute so this is the explanation of this syntax once you created the job you or task you can see save and quit this cron tab file so now i am going to schedule one job here let me see how to do this i am going to schedule the time for to create this uh, file.txt in this location so this was uh, today's date 31 and this is a time 16 and this is the minute 13 so this file will be created at this current time which I was given here so after done the settings save and quit this cron tab file so once you create it means here cron tab initializing new cron tab was created notification will be shown here now schedule the time will be start now i am going to see the file will be created as a node just tell us l here the file.txt will be successfully created here you can schedule any process like if you want to create a directory you can create if you want to remove the directory you can remove the directory and if you want to run any other script you can run the script by using this cron tab if you want to remove or delete the current cron job you can use cron tab iphone i and iphone or iphone i is must you need because it will be shows the confirm message before you're deleting after enter this command hit enter now if you want to delete the cron job means press y Otherwise, if you don't want to delete means press N and hit enter. It will be not delete. So without using this iPhone I option by using cron tab iPhone or it will be delete without asking the confirmation message. If you want to see means execute that using iPhone or hit enter now. It will be deleted without using any confirmation message. So again, if you go and check the con, con tab which was you have created, it will be not available. So here, no cron tab for root will be assigned here. These are the two methods to remove or delete the cron jobs. Next, I am going to show how to schedule the cron job or task for a specific user. So I am going to set the cron job for this user1 user. After under this command, hit enter now. Now here you can schedule the task for this user one. Now I am going to create one directory with this specific time and date. So after done this settings, save and quit this configuration file. Now the cron was created. Again log into that user one user. Now verify that cron was created or not. So here the, the cron job was created. Now the cron job will be executed in this time. Now I am going to check the directory will be created or not. 
ls iphone l hit enter now here now the DER directory will be created successfully at specified time and date so this is the method to create cron job for specific user if you want to execute the task or job every 15 minutes you can use this following command you should enter this entry into your cron file so enter at the end minutes time you should use slash 15 this is the special character will be allow for this cron tab process if you want to execute the job every two hours means you can use this option use slash 2 in this hour corner and mention 0 at the first so this process will be executed every two hours now I'm going to execute multiple cron job in single cron file this is the procedure to set the cron file you should separate this cron job by using semicolon so after done this settings and save and quit this cron file now the assigned cron job will be shown here one folder will be created at this uh, room desktop and also one file will be going to create in this root desktop location at this specified time now go to that uh, location now list the directory so here folder directory will be created and also file one dot txt also created so the two wrong now the two jobs will be successfully executed so this is the method to schedule the two cron job in single cron file you can also assign multiple tasks in that single file now next option is using special string in cron tabs so using the special strings using the special strings in cron tab it will be saved sometimes so here i entered monthly meaning of this monthly is runs once a month so you can use yearly option weekly option daily at midnight and hourly so similar options are available for this special strings in this cron tab these are the method to schedule the jobs or task at background running process by using cron tab in linux that's all about this tutorial let me see you on another video thank you